Okay, ladies, this message is for you. You know, there's this thing that I can't stand among women, and that is we can't make friends. I've met so many women who have said they cannot find any great friends that some even women say, I don't even have any female friends. I just have male friends. You know how women are. They're catty. They're this or that. Well, well, you know what? I don't understand that because in the last 10 years, I've met so many great women. And so today I just want to talk about the three components that you have to adopt in your life in order to gain friends and also in order to be a friend, you know, because this has to reciprocate. You want great friends. You also have to be one. So the first thing you need to have is integrity. You know, if you say you're going to do something, do it. If you can't do it, say that. I mean, if you can't make it, say you can't make it. But don't have someone thinking that you're going to show up and, you, and you're not. You know, inside of that, um, it's a trust thing. You know, a woman, we, we need to trust one another. If I come to you and I say, listen, I need to talk to you about something that's dear to my heart, but I don't want this to get out. Can I trust you? Can she trust you to hold that and it not get all around at the job or at the church or in the neighborhood? Can she trust you're going to hold that? See, women, we have to have integrity. We say we want friends and we, we say all these things about women, but are you a friend? Are you trustworthy? Do you have integrity? You know, you say you're going to come to the party, but you don't show up. You know, are you that girl that can't be trusted? You don't have integrity? I mean, you come to her house and you dress inappropriate around her husband? That's not integrity. You know, some one of my girlfriends brought a young lady over and she didn't know no better or whatever. Uh, and I forgave her for it or whatever, but I totally took a scarf and put it around her neck because you know what? You're not about to come in my house where my husband is and showing all your breasts. The only breast that my husband gonna see in my house is mine. You have to have integrity. She has to trust you around her family. She has to trust you around her husband, around her children. She has to trust that you're going to withhold those things that are sacred to her. Okay, so the next thing, dependable. You have to be dependable. Can she depend on you? Are you that girl that you want everybody to show up to your stuff, but you never show up to anybody else's stuff? Now, you know that's not fair. You know, the other thing about being dependable is this. You know, sometimes our friends need to be told the truth not what makes them feel good but they need to be told the truth like if you have a girlfriend she comes to you and she's upset she's going through something in her marriage and you see that she's wrong and out of line you need to tell her see friends if you see me out drowning you throw a life jacket you don't keep pushing the waves out so i can get further out and drown no throw me a life jacket sister if you're my friend we need to be dependable. We should be able to depend that I know that I can trust that you, you, my friend, my ace, my right hand is going to be there for me. It's going to be honest with me. That's going to love me. The last and definitely not least, and I can speak so much on all of these points, but I just want to want to be quick about it. The last thing is forgiveness. You have to have a forgiving heart. You know, I have met so many great friends, and I'm. this is a conversation I've had with all of them. Listen, it's not if I'm going to disappoint you, it's when. You have expectations, I have expectations. And if you're a new friend, I don't know your expectations. I could be joking around one day, and you take offense to it. But if you don't tell me that you're offended, I don't know. I'm just joking around. This is just what I do. I didn't know that you were offended. So you got to open your mouth and communicate with your girl and say, hey, this is the thing I tell my friends. If I've offended you, don't let 24 hours go by without you open your mouth and telling me. Give me an opportunity to make it right. And when you do come to me, forgive me. Because if you know me and you know my heart, you know that my heart is to bless you and not to curse you. You know, and when you enter these conversations, sometimes they can be a little tough. 
you know, sometimes it can be hard to say, hey, I'm hurt and you you hurt my feelings. So one of the ways that I do it is I enter the conversation with a joke. I'm like, okay, so you know I'm mad at you, right? <laughs> you know you really hurt my feelings. I've been crying all night. The pillow is wet. I'm upset. My shirt been all wet. You hurt my feelings. So sometimes you just got to joke it out. But listen, if you learn how to be a friend, and if you love your friends truly and dearly, you'll resolve those things. Some friends are closer than family members, closer than sisters. And listen, I don't, every marriage you, um, if you're in a marriage, if you have one of your girlfriends, if someone at work, whoever you're around a lot, you're going to always have some conflict at one point. So you got to learn how to resolve conflict or guess what? You're never going to have any friends. Heck, you're not even going to be married for long if you don't know how to resolve conflict. Listen, ladies, I want us to, to start connecting more. There's so much power among us as women. And it's so sad to see us so separate and divided. But if you learn to become a friend, you will draw a friend. I promise you that. I'm Toy Banks in For Better Wife, Better Life, helping you balance it all.